and I will send the Goblin Crater Maker at John, and I'll send these two at you, Jordan. Okay, no blocks, no effects. No block. And then, yeah, you can't block either. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure, sure, sure. So, I'll take two. I'll take two. <laughs> what? I'm not blocking. Hey, everybody. My name is Carlos. Welcome to Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. Today, we are playing our first episode of Season 2 of Commander Melee. Uh, Commander Melee, we try and play higher power EDH. Uh, usually trying to keep Thassa's Oracle out of it, but uh, we might let her back in as long as consult and tainted fact aren't on the table we'll, we'll see what happens but i um, super excited to have a new season uh, we have some new equipment and uh, hopefully you, as you can see there's no mics in front of us but hopefully you're still hearing us right now uh, real quickly i'm going to tell you a little bit about our current sponsors we have dragon shield that uh, we love their stuff that we have the sky blue today on my shield on my uh um, deck and some other awesome colors. Uh, check out our link in the description. We also have our local game store, which is Game Grid in Lehigh, Utah. Uh, they have a great assortment of cards online as well as accessories, so check them out. You'd be supporting us as well as our LGS. If for some reason you can't find things there because they have a lot coming in and out, you can check us out or use our link on TCG Player. Uh, again, it helps support the channel at free cost to you. And lastly, uh, we hope to see you over on uh, our Discord uh, if you join our Patreon, patreon.com slash kingdoms TV. Uh, we got a lot going on. We really have more people playing a lot more like CDH and, uh, you know, regular commander in the looking for game channels. And uh, we have giveaways, the extra giveaways that we do there. Uh, we have, you know, if you're looking for help on your decks, we, we give you input and a bunch more. So love to see you over there. And uh, yeah, with that, we're going to talk a little bit about our commanders uh, and uh, play some games. So thanks for being here. I'm John M. I am playing Wyleth Soul of Steel. Wyleth is a Voltron commander. He draws cards if I have equipment and or auras on him when he attacks. Fingers crossed I can Voltron out and swing heavy. There once was a tiefling who set to see the name of the tiefling was Karlak, Fury of Avarice. I am playing Fury of Avarice today with Sword Coast Sailor. Okay, I'm going to have a lot of fun just taking all the extra combat turn, also doing Voltron, not set up, and I'm just going to double strike, hit my opponents out of the game from nowhere. Carlos again, playing Brago, King Eternal. Uh, this is probably one of my pet decks. Well, it's definitely one of my pet decks. Maybe my favorite deck uh, because it's just Brago value. So this is just playing some really good ETB creatures and Azorius and getting multiple triggers off them, ideally with uh, when I connect with Brago. And then there are a couple combos to close out the game uh, with like Stronic Resonator and uh, now the new little uh, Displacer Kit, um, which has a couple in here as well. So my rule persists past death. All right, hey everyone, Julian here. I am playing Subira uh, Tulzidi Caravaner. Everyone knows the fear of going up against red deck wins at your local FNM, and I tried to channel that fear into this deck. So it's a bunch of tiny, tiny guys that I'm going to try to hit people in the face with until they die. So we'll see how that goes. It, it, it's kind of going to be a slugfest this game. Alright, see who goes first. Uh, double pips wins. Got one pip. One pip as well. I got seven. I think it's you. I think it's you. Me! I couldn't beat a four. Okay, turn one. Draw. Ancient Amphitheater tapped because I do not have a giant card in my hand. Nope. Pass. Alright, untap. Draw. We are going to crack Arid Mesa. Take one. Go get Volcanic Island. We will go turn one. Soul Ring into Talisman. Into take one. Ponder. I will put this on top, draw this. I will play Chromox, Exiling, <laughs> Imperial Recruiter. Okay, draw for turn. I'll play a Hollow Fountain Tapped and pass the turn. Okay, draw for turn. I'll play an Urza Saga. I'll pass. Nice. Okay, I'll untap and I'll draw. Basic planes for turn. We will cast Swift Foot Boots. Pass. Draw. I will play, since all my colors are now online, Exotic Orchard. 
and we will go one, two, three, five. Cast the Tiefling who's set to C. So whenever he attacks, if it is the first combat phase of the turn, untap all attacking creatures. They gain first strike until end of turn. After this phase, there's an additional combat phase. And that will be my turn. Draw for turn. I'm gonna play a Flooded Strand, I'll crack it. Yeah, I'll just get an island, I guess. Um, I'll pass. Okay, uh, untap, upkeep. This will uh, get to the next lore stage. Draw. I will tap two, and I'm going to play out a Goblin Crater Maker. Ooh, pass. That's fun. Untap. I'll draw for turn. Let's play a mountain for turn. I'm going to play some stuff to hope it's not me. I'm going to cast <laughs> Rehab Master Smith. Whenever a creature I control is enchanted or equipped attacks, that creature gains double strike until end of turn. I'll give him Hexproof and Haste. Then... I will attack Jordan for two double strike. I, I will. De I'll declare no block. You you won't you won't attack me next turn with your commander, right? The uh, past turn before he asks again. Untap, draw. I will play a high market. High market. I mean, let's come and do what what we came to do. We're gonna go to combat. I mean, John right now is this is the scariest. So John, we will come at you for five. So I have one declared attacker. So we'll go red, red, two, and one. I'm gonna put in Embercleave. Ooh, nice. And equip that. I'll counter that one. Aww. Okay. Mana drain. Mana drain. Oh, that gives you six too. Huh? Yeah, it does. Yeah, that's that's great really, really yeah. bad. Hit you for five first strike. Okay. That's five commander damage. Untap, Carlos. I'll come at you for five. Because I can, we'll go ahead and play Sword Coast Sailor. So commander creatures I have have whenever this creature attacks, if it, a player, if no opponent has more life than that player, uh, this creature can't be blocked this turn. So I have to attack Julian to give this unblockable first. Gotcha. Pass the turn. Untap, upkeep draw, uh, get six colorless. Now who's ramping? I guess. I, 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 I can, I can see arguments both ways. So, yeah. so, yeah. so both of them have five commander damage on them. So now I still have to do 16 damage, which is going to be harder. I'm going to play well, it. I'm going to play an arcane signet for two of the colorless. Mm -hmm. I mean, it it doesn't really slow down your clock at all, because you can do 10 at max each turn. So you see, so you need three combat. Yeah, three anyway. combat. So, so that makes sense. If I had Embercleave, it only would have taken two. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's true. All right, let's play Brago. I'll play an island as land for turn. Or actually, let's do this. I'm going to play Azorius Chancery as my land for turn, and then I will bounce your guide to your hand with, with Otawara oh, Soaring City. Oh, One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. Channel. Okay. And I'll pass turn. Untap. So rude. Uh, so rude. Raw. You saved John's life. I'm trying to have a game here. <laughs> no, I want to play a second one. Like, I was trying to get it over with. Okay, so, oh, yeah. Nice. There's a saga uh, grabbing Soul Ring. Um, I am going to tap it for mana before I do that. So I have one colorless floating Mountain for turn. Okay, well that one colorless and this red, I'll just tap my other red. I'll get Sabira out and I will go to combat, I guess. I think I'm actually gonna hit John for two. Okay. And I will pass there. I will don't tap and draw. So you didn't have to counter the Embercleave. You could have let it kill John and then he could have gotten rid of it. <laughs> well, no, well, no, no, it, it, it's colorless, not land permanent. So I couldn't oh. really destroy the Embercleave. We were all dead if Embercleave lived. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'll tap for three. I'll cast Foundry Inspector. Mm -hmm. And then with reduced cost, I'll cast Basilisk Collar. And I'll pass. Draw. One, two, red, five. I will just recast Carlock. Cool. So pass. All right. Untap, draw a card, play an island, slant return. Three, four. I'm gonna cast our Kaomancer. Uh. Get back, Mana Drain. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna uh. swing at Jordan for two. Why am I not surprised? I'll blink this Exorius Signet and this Brago and the Archaeomancer. Uh, sure, why not? And I'll pass. Draw. Land for turn. So we're gonna go tap all my red. Two for Magda. Oh. Get a Blazing Rootwalla out there. Um, and then I'm going to spend one and make this Crater Maker unblockable. And I will swing to at Carlos. I'm okay taking damage right now. I will pass. I need to stop drawing lands is what I need to do. I need to start drawing lands. I will untap and I will draw a land. It's not a land. I mean, you can cast your commander and draw cards. I'm afraid of Carlock right now. I'm afraid of Wyleth long term. I will pay two and I will cast Archaeomancer's map. That's fine, John. Okay. I'll search for up it, to... That is not imminent death. That's just <laughs> lands, you know? I mean... Okay. These have been revealed. They go on my hands. I'll I pass mean, that, Sword of the so, Animus. Sometimes. I will pass. Okay. okay. All right. I mean, does it make any sense? It, it, we, don't, we don't have all the information yeah. that he okay. does. All right. All right. So maybe it does make great sense. One, two, three, four. Uh, Jaxus. Have you played a land for a turn? I have not. <sighs> you might be baiting it. I might. 
if he's bait this and he plays a land and then plays and equips a sword of fire and ice i'm gonna just be impressed so i will try to mana drain it <laughs> yeah it's biggest biggest counter okay. land for turn sword Okay. I've seen you and seal. No, not a great one. But I will still equip it. So yeah. now it has protection from black and red. Okay. Uh, well, but yeah, you can just try it. Yeah, and then when it deals combat damage to a player, destroy up to one target planeswalker and up to one target artifact. Fun. <laughs> um, and Julian has more life than me, so I don't feel bad. Well, that's true. But I, I can mean, still attack you. Well, yeah. I just have to block, though. You guys have yeah, red you do, creatures. You do, you do have one. It's pro red. Uh, yeah, he has yeah. it. He's a colorless. Uh, if you value that sword, do not send that at me. <laughs> he has to to get an extra turn. Or extra uh, combat. I know, I know, yeah. but uh, no, no, I just have to attack, and then I get an extra combat. Well, uh, only if you attack me. I thought you had. Oh, to get unblockable. To get unblockable, you have, have, to, to, attack have to attack the highest. highest. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But then right. the second combat step, he yeah. can attack anyone for unblockable. Yeah, you're gonna, you're cool. gonna get first strike anyway. And so my thinking is this: we need to get rid of Arcane Signet. Well, I mean, I mean, him him having permanent mana drain every turn. Right. It's it's is is actually yeah annoying. All right, so, I don't uh, think so that's as bad as death though. So the best thing to do is to get rid of stuff from here. And I do feel like shutting off as much blink as possible. Or you can just attack Carlos and stop his blinking shenanigans with Archaeo Mancer. Because, he, I mean, he'll probably block. So. That is a good point. I mean, if he doesn't, he would be at 19 commander damage. Yeah, but you, for your sake, it's better for you to attack John. He can still block. He still has a blocker. I don't know about that because because he can just kill him with commander with unblockable commander damage, right? But 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 you can just counter all his stuff every turn. Do do your first combat, see what happens, and then after that, decide who you're attacking next. Yeah. See what happens. So I do want I do want to hit I do want to hit two players. So I do want to hit you, but I don't want my sword destroyed. Well, Shit. don't hit me. <laughs> Objectively, I think it's fine to like in a vacuum to look at my stuff and say okay. it's good, but like mine is not as good as John's setup right now. That or means. even Julian's, I'm, but I'm, Julian can take out your sword, yeah, so he, that he, removes him. Five damage to John, he loses his creature and your choice of an artifact. Or well, doesn't the creature have to deal damage? For yeah, you? I have to do combat damage. Do it. So right, but if you if he blocks, two. you get another combat, You'd have to swing at me and then you go back at him again, and then it connects. So the only way yeah. you're connecting this round, most likely, is attacking John twice. Isn't Our it opponents. so fun playing a combat-based deck? I know, right? This should have gone quick, and we have attacked ten, like, ten yeah. minutes. You have to swing. Well, you don't have to, I know, but it's I in know. your best interest to do so. I don't know, because I mean, he's he's an aggro deck, so he has to win through combat damage, mm -hmm. so he needs to plan turns ahead and be like, okay, who's going to stop me from winning continuously? Because I mean, John and I will have, have to hit him to win, which can happen, but like, at least my deck doesn't have the value to outpace your damage if you're unblockable. Mm -hmm. None doesn't either. Uh, mine but, could in like yeah. two or three turns. But I need more. Land. So I think the first thing I do is I have to attack first, see what happens, and evaluate. Because if I if I, I attack you and you block, I'm not as worried about you. And then I can go at John. And then if he blocks, well, I got rid of two. I think I, I think mean, at the very least, your first attack probably should be John. Yeah. Okay. I I'd, I'd actually agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. That actually makes sense. So John, yes, coming at you for seven. I will block because that makes more sense. Okay. And then I will go to my second combat. Yeah. I think I have to come at you again. This time it will be seven. Okay. And I have a trigger. I have That's to get, I have to get this with fifth. Well, we'll just we'll, we'll, we'll just work. because re realistically, you ha having a constant mana drain up means that you are consistently about four mana ahead of your current board state because you're because you're not only countering a spell every, every turn cycle, but you're also getting four colorless. You know what? I forgot about that part. Yeah, you get four yeah. I was thinking of just the counter spell side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you're right. That oh, does you... add some value. But now I'm at everyone's mercy. Like, I'm going to take everything and die. All right. Uh, four mana to start in my main phase, but before that, I will draw a card. I will play another island. I'm going to play Thassa, Deep Dwelling. She blinks once a turn. Mm -hmm. So you'll have step. one colorless floating? And... Yeah. And so, yeah, now you've you've taken me out of the game. No, because I don't have six mana. You only need four mana to activate her. I need six to do both. If I end up countering something, then I wouldn't be able to tempt your guy. Oh, never mind. I will have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. I mean, combat. that's why you killed the blue player. And, and <laughs> if you can ever just have a flyer, he's only two four. I have one flyer in the deck. Thank you for one and... Two of me. Yeah, to it's Julian. He's gonna. He's a lot of life there. So you lost the uh, colorless. Uh -huh. Okay. And we'll blink these. Mana drain back. That's my turn. I'll blink our Kalemancer again. All right. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Well. Torbran. <laughs> yeah. He's just gonna kill us with damage. Was that damage? That's, plus that's worth, two, that's worth right? mana draining. Yeah, I think Torbran is scary. 
and he doesn't have any cards in hand. Mm -mm. Okay. So. All, right. All right, well, I'll use this last colorless to make uh, my Magda unblockable. I'm going to swing Magda at you, Carlos. I will make a treasure token. Two. Um, that's my turn. I want to pass. I will tap. Is it a land? It is not. Yeah, ideally I would have been swinging a little bit more, but that start kind of made me have to keep up mana. <laughs> <laughs> Start is like that, that. That was the best start. Like that was my one percent. Yeah, that, that was, was my one percent. This was like, what is happening here? I'll play a planes for turn. I will put the collar and the sword on Riaz. Mm -hmm. Declare attacker to Julian. That's three double strike. I don't get your. Sorry. Wait, who are you attacking? Julian. Julian. I'll take it. Mountain tapped from the mm -hmm. sword sure. trigger. And so you gain six. Oh. I gain six life. Now I can attack either of them, and it would be unblockable. <laughs> is that why you did that? <laughs> Thirty life. I mean, yeah, you you could kill John here. Mm. I don't think that's the right play, but I don't, I don't <laughs> think it is either. I will pass turn. Be. Yeah, because if I say I'm going to go at Carlos, he just taps on my guy. Well, then don't say who you're attacking until you tap. <laughs> if you say you are going to either way, then I'll tap it. Yeah, so I attack you once. In combat, I'm going to pirate blast your background. Uh, sure. That gives me something to do this turn. Then I will not attack you if you get rid of Brago. <laughs> Done. Okay. I'll tap your guy then. Are you doing that right now? Yeah. So I made I made a deal. I'm not gonna do that. Well then. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm not gonna, attacking. I'm, I'm not tap your guy. Yeah, I'm not attacking him. Uh, I mean, yeah. I, I yeah. Just tap down my guy. It's fine. <laughs> I will keep one That's card in seen. hand. Huh? I'll keep huh? one card in huh? hand. Yeah, yeah. There's there's, there's, a, there's there's a lot of loaded guns. Yeah. Like right. Okay, draw for return. Play an land for turn. Uh, I'll play my commander. I'll pass the turn. Blink the archaeomancer. Get a mana drain. Drop the no. turn. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm casting a seething song. Just, I have five red. Make them blockable, make them blockable, make them blockable. Yep, two red left. I'm going to discard my hand. I'm did you play to... a land this turn? Oh, I wish I could draw. Oh, shoot. Well, that was kind of dumb. So but... turn, <laughs> turn, move one. <laughs> yeah. There we go. And now I will go to combat. Um, I'm going to send uh, one of these one at there. everybody. I'm going to make another treasure when I go to combat. We're sending uh, Rootwalla at John, um, Crater Maker at you, Magda at you. Yeah. I will day. draw three cards. Yeah, and now he's starting to do his thing. Relentless Assault. On top all creatures that attack this turn. Initial combat phase followed by an additional main phase. Yeah, I'll mana drain that one. Yeah. Yep, that's how I come on. It's always four. It's always four. It's always four. That's weird. I will pass the turn. Drop a turn. Exotic Orchard. Yeah, you yep. have red. <laughs> <laughs> all right, just I will attempt to cast a Wirelift. It's the first time playing Thassa. I didn't ever know that the last ability would be relevant. <laughs> <laughs> We'll go for it. I will cast Sabin's Reclamation to get the boots. It's my target back onto the battlefield. Uh, and you have mana to equip him? Mm -hmm. I do. Just one equip? Just one. I will cast an Essence Flux. Blink a creature. Blink a creature? Arcing an Archaeomancer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, see, this is why we kill Carlos. <laughs> No, the difficulty in what Carlos has to do is like he's has, having to do all these combinations and stuff against three people. Yeah. Well, right. And that's but... tough. Like right, but but not, but now he's going to get essence flux and mana drain back every turn. So now he has and, two, and now he's going to have two mana drains a turn cycle. He's already countered two of my haymakers and two of his haymakers, mm -hmm. and he's about to counter one of yours. Oh, I know. <laughs> so I'm just saying, kill the blue player. It's definitely <laughs> definitely inconvenient. Um, I, I, I'll uh, get a kill answer back. That's why I was saying. And <sighs> then I'll cast a mana drain. Uh, is Thassa a creature? No. Mm -mm. Is it seven? On that one? That's five. It's five, I have four. Yeah, he's one. Oh, blue. Just blue. Combat, I'll swing at Carlos for three double strike. Death touch, lifelink. And you get a land. Uh, how much? Six? Yep, six. Untap. Draw. See, this is the part that's for me. Like, let's say he draws an extra turn combat right now. He just kills me, or you, or you. He won't kill me first. But that's, that's the difficulty. Actually, he can't kill me, but he could kill one of you two. Yeah. I mean, if you killed me, I wouldn't be surprised. Well, you're at five. If I had an extra combat... I guess that's... He, he, he would... He, he well, 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 well yeah, but, yeah, but I mean, he would kill your board and then and then be able to deal a bunch of commander damage to you and kill John. And then he's... He could do so, no damage to me this turn, but he could kill my two creatures. Oh, I guess this third yes. combat, he could kill me. It's not like you don't have the colorless to recast Brago anyway. <laughs> Mystic Remora. There you go. That's huge. I, I mean, that, that is, that's really good. good. Yeah. Good thing there wasn't a mana drain. Yeah. You're welcome. You guys played together. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. We, we need. It's like I just wanted to draw two cards Be because it, because if all of us play passively, then we just get. But I can always only counter one thing per round. Two. Things. Now I can do two. Now I can do two things. It's like and do nothing else. Tower. Right, but I have I have two cards in hand. About to have. He has more. one card in hand. I have two. Yeah, but you'll play those two and get three more. He'll attack and get like four cards. 
he'll have Mystic Remora. Right, 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 so, right. So, and, and that requires all of us forcing our stuff through the mana drains. Yeah, and then you're all in bad spots because everyone's built their stuff. Right, but that's preferable to not playing our stuff. I need to attack. Um, the question is, is who? Uh, John is at 12. If I got both attacks in on him, he dies. If I attack Julian for the first time, I could potentially put him at, I take, give him 10. I hit you, you or I attack you, you just block. I mean, you just have the I feel like one of those options benefits but you really If you well. attack me, though, too, I am forced just to stop you for forever mm -hmm. until I'm in a good spot. You know what I mean? It feels like king making. It feels like whoever I attack. Well, me dying doesn't king make. But the other. <laughs> With Brago, the, the play is always do your thing before I get, like, value. He's. He's got a value engine. Oh, I have the engine. Brago yes. is the value yeah, engine, yeah, yeah. but all it takes is one extra combo piece, and then he's broken. Yeah, the second That's you draw anything that can draw cards, then we can't keep up anymore. But like now, Julian's going to be start drawing like three cards a turn. And mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. well, yeah, I'm 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 going to start drawing blazing root walls, but like, yeah, no, no, he, no, he, he just means like one like, ones. Yeah, 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 like. And so like now, John, like I don't think it's, I don't I don't know if I kill John. You can kill someone right now. I can kill John. He can kill me. My gut feeling is if Jordan kills me, then Jordan's going to die soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I will attack Julian. Attackers have been declared. I will get my untap. Yep. Uh, that's fine. You can hit me for seven. Okay. Hit you for seven. Is that your first, uh, that's my first combat damage to him? Yes. So he is at seven. So yeah, I think I think the first target is I definitely get rid of the sword. Okay. So I have seven on you, and I have five on you. A part of me feels like I need to hit you to bring you up to 12, so now yes. I can start. Yes. Uh, yeah. uh, you, you... I agree. Yeah. <laughs> he wants it over. Okay. Yeah, I will attack Carlos with my second. Well, any attack that doesn't come to me is uh, welcome. Yeah. Uh, he's on unblockable. Yeah, no. John John was unblockable when I attacked him. Oh, no. When I attacked Julian. Excuse me. I did attack Julian. Yeah. Julian yeah. yeah, the first yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so Brago. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, so, so he is on Black Wall. Yeah, there he is. So much debate in this one game. Yeah. I am losing track of everything. How much damage? Uh, Dude, uh, just seven. One creature. Just seven. <laughs> <I know. laughs> seven is a lot of damage. Seven is a lot of damage. I don't even really care about your commander damage. <laughs> I'm at 15. I will play my land for turn, which is kind of held up, and then I'll just crack, go fetch something. What are you destroying with your trigger? Oh, Arcane Signet. Arcane Signet's gone. I just don't even want that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I have friends. I don't want to talk to fools any longer. Untapped. It was I'll relevant just, like I'll three turns against. ago. It was. It was irrelevant. But that was like three turns ago. It was. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Three turns. But I, also, I but Julian know. also is correct. I do not care about That's the That's why I didn't say anything. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the no, main, the main thing is that is that you have a gun to both of our heads now. Yeah. And so and so we need to help deal with your common enemy, which is him. Because he can... Uh, well, Carlos, as long as Carlos is alive. Carlos can think I think I'm now the threat. Now I think you guys want to He's always been worse for you guys than me. Ah... Because I, I can stop it, one thing per round, hurts him. Right. You guys have all kinds of like more stuff that you can be doing. So we basically have no skin in this game. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I, I mean, you, anyways, you and me I, both are. I, I, th I think. I think. I think. I was just making an observation. No, I think I, Julian I think, was think, doing a great job of politics. I, I, think, I, think, I think you and I are like one want... turn from being like really well established. But I'm going to play an island for land for turn. I'm going to play shipwreck dowser. Get back. Mana drain uh, using three, so I have four left, and then two blue. I play a Panamarnicon, and then I attack you for ten. Brago triggers twice. I blink all these. Get back this guy. This one's flux. That's my turn. On tap, draw. Yeah, I just realized Thassa could be a good blocker for Jordan. To, to everybody's credit, I've really been wanting to draw into it. But now, I think now only Julian can take you out. Anybody can take me out. I'm honestly surprised I'm still alive. Wait, why can only Julian? Uh, he can give unblockable and get through your stuff. You just tap down my stuff or just block. Well, well, well I mean, or I could let you hit me once and then let, let give you unblockable, let you hit him. Mm -hmm. And then he just taps it down. Oh, true, true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> and I but, 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 I, but I mean, technically, you don't have to t declare who you're attacking until you're attacking. Yes, sir. Side. Yeah, Julian. Oh, uh, he's right. That's true. Just move to combat um, and just let it sit. I'm going to play this Crucible of Defiance. <laughs> that's really good. Well, no, no, oh, no, 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 that's not, that's not the plus a, one, that's the like give two, two, two. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, yeah, it, it's, a, it's the channel one. It is really um, good. Wait, why not get two more creatures? Because I want to try to draw more cards. Put that, we'll draw more cards. They do have haste, and I am tapped down. Oh, wait, they gain haste this turn. Yeah, they do oh, gain haste this turn. wow, it would really help if I could read my cards. Yeah. Psych! I was like, what the heck? <laughs> uh, okay, then I'm, I'm gonna play the Sync Monk. <laughs> <laughs> He's a threat, kill him! Infect has been introduced. Wow. <laughs> it, 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 it would literally take me 10 turns to kill And I'm the monarch. <laughs> Let's see. Channeling this uh, costs two less. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Sweet. So, yeah, I'll channel this, get two little guys. Oh, wait, wait, there is. I mean, they're not flying, Which but. 
Okay, so I will go ahead and I have one color that's floating from the soul ring. I will discard my hand. This gets tapped. I will go ahead and spend that last one and make Magda unblockable. These guys have haste, and then... Um, I did cast Panharmonica and didn't pay four. Did you draw? Oh, I did not. Excuse me. So Magda and Blazing Root Walla, which I will make unblockable at Carlos, and I will send the Goblin Crater Maker at John, and I'll send these two at New Jordan. Okay, no blocks, no effects. No block. And then, yeah, you can't block either. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. So, okay. Yes, 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 yes. so, I'll take two. <laughs> okay. I'll take two. <laughs> what? I'm not blocking. Yeah, and then... Two to me. Okay, one, two, three, four. <laughs> draw five cards. And make another trigger, by the way. Because I'm going to follow that up with playing a gold hound and a bowmat courier. I think I counter the bowmat courier. Would you like to pay for it? Huh? No. Okay. So that's all I got. I will pass. Yeah. Draw. Four, five. I will flash back to Vin's Reclamation. Uh, we like to pay for. I can't. Yay! I will pull the sword and the and the boots because it allows me to copy it since I flashed it back. Yep. Let's move to combat then. I will throw my commander a Jordan. So I'll take six. Some triggers will happen first. And I'll attack Julian for two. Attack trigger. I think I'm gonna sacrifice my Goblin Crater Maker. Destroy the Basilisk color. Yeah. So I'm going to take. Drain. And I will draw two. And then the collar is destroyed. And then combat damage. And I'm tapped out. Past turn. Up top. I will pay for Mr. Grimora. I'm gonna cast Anger. All right, I will attack Carlac at you, Anger at Julian. Okay. I cannot block, so I'll take seven. Untap. Your commander is now unblockable. John. I want. I think I do want John <clears throat> alive. So I don't have to attack. I can just kind of give him vigilance. Uh, yeah, keep him back to block. Yeah. That's fine. I am just playing Scourge, and I'm not using High Market because to sack Anger because I need the land to cast the Scourge. Sure. And I, I think I think this is how I need to play it. Now I have potentially three blockers and pass. Yeah, I'll tap the gold hand to end the turn. And I'm also going to cast <laughs> Essence Flux. Uh, Mr. Grimoire. You got a card. That'll get me back both of these. That would be really fun. And, Essence. It, and has a counter on it. I guess that does make oh. it bigger. Oh, yeah, you didn't use your sword trigger. Oh, to blow up something. You're right. Yeah. Is it too late? Um, is it you may? Probably not. It's coming after to destroy up to one target planes walking up to one target it's up to, so, yeah. yeah. All right. So much talking. Draw a card. So much politicking. <laughs> Here's the land. Um, yeah, I just... It's something it's your best interest to attack with everything. Yeah, yeah, there's no... Yeah, my turn's really simple. I just attack, blink them, and I'm done. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen damage. Yeah, I'll s <laughs> send it at John. Okay, thirteen to me. Cool. Amazing turn. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> Draw. Jessica's will. I have two cards. Uh, do you would like to pay four? No oh, man, a dream. Would you yep. like to pay four? I will play a castle and breath. So he can give five creatures unblockable and then pump them all up. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take my combat step. I pass priority. I'm past priority too. I am in combat. Here's what I'm going to do. Actually, just attack me. Let's just make sure Brago doesn't win. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, because if I kill you, then, then yeah. Yeah, I, if, if he kills you, I just kill <laughs> both yeah, of you. Yeah. It's such a crazy game. I am attacking uh, you, Jordan, with these three creatures, um, keeping everything else back. I'm going to make them unblockable. Um, I'm going to get a treasure from Magda, so mm -hmm. I, that, that's that's fine. Go. I am going to then pump them and pump the Rootwalla. So Rootwalla, so it's exactly nine. Okay, so you're going to... Okay, yeah, uh, I can't do anything. Yeah, I will die. That was a manly move, Julian. I'm impressed. And I will pass the turn. Yeah. I'll draw for turn. I will attempt to cast Jessica's Will. How many cards? Two. So yeah, I'll uh, cast an Essence Flux on a Archaeomancer. Uh, it'll come back into play. I'll trigger a Panharmonicon, and I'll get these two into my hand. Yeah, okay. destroying not destroying that Panharmonicon mm -hmm. was pretty rough. I'll it? play a Mana Drain. Countered. Two Jessica's Will countered. That's yeah. funny. <laughs> I can make one of your creatures unblockable if the power to it less. If you'll do that, then I'll move the sword. Yeah, totally. I'll use my last treasure. Make your guy unblockable. He is unblockable. You might want a blocker, though. Me? Yeah. I'm dead anyway. Why? If you, not if you have blockers. I mean, he, he can keep his commander back. I right. will move the sword. I'll move to combat, and then I will swing at Carlos. Two, and then two double strike, you're, two double strike. You're attacking with your or commander? Or three double strike. Yeah. Yeah, this one's right. unblockable. Because I need this to draw cards. I mean, yeah. Right? Yeah. You didn't block the commander? I did. Oh, okay. I take six damage unblockable. Well, no, this. Wait. That's four. That's only two. Yeah. block with that, so six, five, and struck. Yeah, okay, so, so, so this is dead. I did it to potentially draw a card. All right, let's see. So that's the sword trigger, and we'll just see what happens. Uh, my prophecy was correct, though. What? 
Oh, Julian will win. Uh, we'll see. And unless I top deck a win, like I win on my turn, Damage. I die. He goes to command and zone. he can't go. Yeah. Pretty easy. You can kill us both. Draw maybe on your turn. That? Don't. I don't think I have that much damage. You have exactly enough to kill us both. Ass assuming nothing happens to any of my creatures, then then yeah, I do have enough damage. Okay. Hopefully, burnished heart. Sure, we'll give hexproof. Why not? I mean, Master. yeah, yeah, I can block. Uh, end of turn. I'll blink, just to save my mana and get these back. Sure. Six mana. Let's draw something good. Moldrifter. We're just gonna rip it because this is my last turn. Nice right. if, if, if you if you top like the win here, it's gonna be obnoxious. But it will. It really will. It's gonna be a land or a rock, though. No. <laughs> Solitude, <laughs> and that that that's uh that's half a win. That's yeah. It's you, not a guaranteed win. You get rid of the commander. Uh, he can no longer. You're gonna like wipe our entire boards here. I told you guys, kill the blue player. <laughs> I, I if, I, if this was a land, I'd lose to you. <laughs> well, sure, sure, yeah, but it's not. <laughs> bet, bet you wish I was still in the game now, don't you? Well, no, 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 not really. No, we would die bad. guaranteed we, if you were still in it. Have you seen Modern? That card's absurd. I, so it, I, I think the game is in your favor heavily. Well, it, yeah, you, you it pay, you pay it five. Matter, it comes into play. You get to get rid of two things. So you can get rid of like this and the uh, Magda, and then you can blink it once for free with your spell, you go, which gets two more. Uh, and then you can get uh, this, and then like yeah, but they're gaining life, so. It, but it doesn't matter well, if they don't have a board. You still have, right, yeah, you have 12, you have 13 right. damage. Um, yeah, it's... I'll use three of this mana and two white. Yeah, it's... <laughs> cast it's a Solitude. So ETB trigger? Two. Two. I get rid of four creatures right now. So yeah. one, two, three, four. You're exiled? And you gain life equal to their power. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, which ones are you talking? Wait, I only do two right now. You, you you only yeah. do you only do yeah, two right now, one. So, but I'll, I'll just yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we go with combat. Yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. So I'm choosing Subira and Ray. Uh, yeah, exiled. I gain two life. I will cast an Essence Flux. There you go. And blink this one. Did you want to blink Solitude? Wait, I don't do the comments <laughs> right now. You're right. Solitude, and I'll choose Magda and the Rootwalla. This comes in with a counter. Then, so this has plus one plus one for the turn. I don't use this mana. Yeah, I try and kill John, I think, and then. Yeah, and then you have infinite mana drains. Six, seven, eight. I, I don't know if I like this. I will block Thassa. And then I take two, four, five, three, six, four, five, seven, eight. Eight. So this gets plus one plus one. Blink all these. You didn't, guys didn't kill one creature the whole entire game. Um, exile that into 1 1. You gain more life. But I mean, I'm not ignorant. We knew what, we, what it was when we came in. So. Mm -hmm. And then you end a turn. I mean, it, it really is like an, basically a, a Yu Gi Moto right there. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. If it was a mana rock or a land. It's just funny that it's happened now three times. No, I don't like it. <laughs> Um, I will go to end step and kill your last, uh, thing. Okay. All right. You're done? Uh, yes. Okay. Untap. Keep draw. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to try to abrade your panharmonicon. I mean, sure. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. You can still counter for free flux. So you need three things. Yeah. Why well, actually, I think on? I, uh, let that go. Wait, cards in hand? Oh, no. So I let it, because John has a ton. I think I, I have five, but it's irrelevant. Yeah. Okay. All right, I will. I will pass the turn. Of course. Hey, you finally drew one. Yeah, I know, right? I needed nope. this for forever. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, well, well, you, well, and that's why I was trying to kill you so hard because I knew the second you got something like this, the game was over. I'm good. All right, I'll untap, draw a card. All right. We'll send three so at John. Send solitude at me. Twelve at Julian. Yep. And I'll blink these and pass the turn. <laughs> yeah. Tap upkeep draw. I will cast Rite of Flame. I will then concede. <laughs> <laughs> well, what a game. As has been the trend, I've had some crazy luck lately. You might even call me Yugi Moto moving forward because of my amazing top decking abilities. But I mean, if I hadn't pulled that Solitude, if it would have been a land, a mana rock, anything else, I would have lost. And so I did get the lucky win and that's how it goes sometimes. Overall though, this is a great start to season two and you should be looking for a brand new series coming soon, which are some cool deck techs. And they're actually gonna be deck techs based on some of my favorite decks like this one, Brago King Eternal. So look out for that in the next couple weeks. 
And lastly, if you are enjoying our shows, consider becoming part of the kingdom and supporting us over at patreon.com slash kingdoms TV. A special thank you to our samurai patrons, Chris Crowley, David Siraj, Dr. Birdseed, Jason Gardner, John McManus, Jordan Ritchie, Morton Christensen, Revolution Gaming, and Worthy Glover. You are all the pillars of kingdoms. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching and keep it nerdy. <laughs>